one of the major features of the ball path is what I call the release gate. And it's these two slots uh, right up here. So we created the release gate, the idea being that our putter comes through impact and has some release point past the ball. And the idea is, if we're not careful, we can't tell where that putter is, if the heel is leading forward or the toe's getting too shut. So when we put the release gate together, we made it so that we could create whatever angle that we want by using these silicone pegs. They come in from underneath, they're the same ones we use for the putter gate. I can adjust these. If I want to be square to square, I can adjust the pegs to be square to square. But the release gate lets me do that. And the way I use it usually is I will simply set up the gate, which is what I've done for my particular release pattern, and I want to make a stroke that's slow, and I want to feel where that, where that putter needs to be and release. I want to feel it. As I finally kind of get that feel, I might go ahead and hit a ball, but I want to do it slow enough that I can actually feel how that putter releases. And the concept that I use typically in my practice because I don't want to get target oriented, but I do want to make a stroke, feel that release, step away, hit a putt with that release, step back in and make that release. Now we're using it indoors today. Obviously when you're on the putting green, you just use a couple of tees. So as you're thinking about your stroke, you want to release it properly. You want to re release it to the angle that you prefer. Let, let the release gate set that up, let your eyes see it feel it, you're going to know if the heel's coming in too quick, you're going to hit that inside one. Or if you're releasing it too strong, you'll hit the top one. Make it set it up for your stroke. You're going to see and feel and watch how perfectly that toe and the heel release. The release gate will really help you get that established and feel great.